two billion four hundred million and one. Two billion four hundred million and two. Whew. Mr. Richards, the X Men are here to see you. Crap. Can we reschedule? You've rescheduled on them four times already, sir. Oh. All right, fine. Send them in. A bunch of good for nothing has been. This can't even make a good movie to save their life. Hey! hey, hey. Look who it is. It's the X Men. Come on in, have a seat. Oh, sorry. Don't mind this. It's just the uh, latest box office returns for the Avengers. I mean, wow. Would you look at that? So much money. Anyways, can I get you guys something to drink? Water, coffee, maybe a pineapple Fanta? I'd love a green tea if you could. Can it, Scott? We're here to talk business, not have a tea party. Great. Right to the point. I love it. So tell me, what can I do for you? Oh, don't tell me. Beast. It's Wolverine, actually. Right, right. The other one with claws, heightened senses, and animal instincts. I'll show you animal instincts. But, Mr. Richards, I know that we're the new kids on the block here at Disney, but now that Dark Phoenix is out. Oh, that came out? Good for you. Sorry, counting all this money has been keeping me pretty busy. Yes, I could always get a machine to do it, but uh, it is my kink. Now that Dark Phoenix is out, and uh, we've ended our cinematic run at Fox, uh, we were thinking that it's high time that the X-Men join the MCU. That's great. Love the initiative. Let me just check the old schedule. Okay. Ooh, let's see, 2020 is full. So is 2021. Yeah, we're pretty booked all the way through 2025. I'll tell you what I'll do. How about I get you guys started as a guest star on a Disney Plus show in about three years, and if that goes well, maybe a little uh, post-credits cameo in the next Avengers film, huh? How does that sound? Bub, that sounds about as good as a Newfie riding a moose on Boxing Day. I think what my surly compatriot means is that sounds about as appealing as a molasses bath on the 4th of July. I think they mean... No, that doesn't sound good. Mr. Richards, sir. The X-Men movie franchise ain't just some dog and pony show. We've been a cinematic tour de force for almost 20 years. Hell, we basically started the modern superhero film genre, laying the groundwork for the MCU today. I think we deserve a bit more respect than simply being to- Mr. Richards, the next batch of Endgame returns have come in. I'm so sorry. I hate to do this. I know it's rude, but uh... Oh. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, please, continue. Listen, bub, we're the goddamn X-Men. We've been household names for decades now. We're on lunchboxes, t-shirts, or even on band-aids. You can't just treat us like we're the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, look, I actually really like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but yeah, we deserve better. Yeah! Yeah, we do, sugar. <sighs> All right, I was trying to do this the nice way, but now I'll just spell it out for you dum-dums. In the face of the unstoppable juggernaut that is the MCU, you are nothing. The only reason you have a movie franchise in the first place is because of the goodwill created by the 90s cartoon show. The last time you guys were relevant, MySpace was a thing. Out of 12 films, you've only managed to create three and a half good ones. That's a lower ratio than Scott's screen time in X-Men 3. <laughs> now listen here, sugar. The X-Men movies are a multi-billion dollar franchise. The MCU turns out multi-billion dollar movies. Endgame alone has made a third of your entire box office. Endgame alone has made half of your entire box office. And you want to talk about household names? You guys had some of the most popular characters of all time and you royally screwed the pooch with them. Meanwhile, all the MCU had was Marvel's leftovers and we made them into gold shitting machines. I mean, we made a talking f***ing raccoon into a household name for God's sakes. We don't need you. Oh, come on, don't, don't do that. Ow. Ow. <sighs> Damn, my still technically human heart. All right, fine. Maybe I can make something work. Mm. You, Raincoat, you've been pretty quiet this whole time. Oh, d don't worry about her. She's basically our intern. Can it, you glorified can opener? What's your name? Um, I'm Jubilee. I'm guessing you're not one of the more popular characters, are you? Yeah. 
People find me annoying. That's great. I love a challenge. Jubilee, how do you feel about being the new face of the X-Men? Really? What? It's perfect. I can see it now. We'll drop you into Spider-Man Far From Home as one of Pete's classmates. Maybe get a whole little love triangle going with you, Pete and MJ. Then we'll stick you with Valkyrie in her solo film, get you your own Hall H panel at Comic-Con, and by 2021, you'll be headlining your own solo movie with projected box office return of $1.29 billion. How does that sound? That sounds like totally tubular. <laughs> I love it. 90s nostalgia is so in right now. <sighs> Dick, you can't do this. You're making a huge mistake. <laughs> Oh, Logan. At Disney, we don't make mistakes. We make money. Hey, friends. Davis from the Warp Zone here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see another fun video, you can click that box right there. Also, we have a Patreon now. So if you guys want to join our fun little community, uh, we really appreciate it. And you can do so by clicking that guy right there. Anyways, I'm going to leave now. <laughs>